what to do when he asks for your number and to move you off the dating platform too soon. <laughs> Hello, my name is Chengi and you, my precious one, of course, are my world. Welcome to Chengi's World, right here where I teach you to present as a high value, high status, high worth woman that men find completely irresistible. So today's video, we're going to be talking about this thing that has been coming a lot to me, especially in the mentoring club with all my girls as they're dating and sharing uh, their adventures. It's so much fun in the mentoring club. I do invite you to join us because it is a blast. If you want to figure and find out how to do that, you can just go to the description link below or visit my website, changiswell.co.uk forward slash shop and you will be able to see the mentoring subscription just go into the filter for subscriptions we would love to have you in the group but this is coming up a lot in in the practice with my private clients with my mentoring club uh, team and, and just through the conversations I have been having so this is something that has come up a lot and that is that you are chatting to a guy on a dating app hinge or maybe even socially I mean we're not really doing much socially at the moment but you just sort of mad and um, you know you've hardly hardly said hi back before he's like okay give me your number so I can call you um, now boys <laughs> the few that do watch me and often the ones that do watch me to criticize me or whatever but let's just assume that you love Chinese world and you're part of my world too and you're watching this you really need to stop it you really 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 need to stop advancing and moving things at a hundred miles an hour on dating apps now back to you girls <laughs> I know that this is very frustrating because you're thinking I hardly know you I just I've seen a picture you hardly have a profile about yourself we've hardly said hello you don't even know if I'm a serial killer and I don't know if you are either and now you want me to part with my number like are you serious um, it can really feel invasive, but I just want to break down certain things for you so that you understand. Um, we have to understand that there are different men, obviously, on the, in the dating market. And for a lot of guys, uh, you know, as women who follow my channel, I know we're high value and we have self-respect and we love ourselves and we think we're fantastic, which we are. Um, but we, you know, we think that because we work on who we are and, and, and being the best version of ourselves for ourselves and for the high value men that we are inviting into our lives. But not every woman on those dating apps is like you or myself. A lot of women are not presenting themselves at their very best. A lot of them are really throwing themselves or selling sex um, on the apps. Um, and when a guy meets a lady, a woman with great presentation, because my girls always do. Because I go through your dating apps and I go through everything about you when you work with me. I like to have a look and, and see how you're showing up in the world. Um, when um, my girls sort of get found online, men <laughs> get really excited. Um, and men are very competitive. This is something that I say all the time, but men are competitive, conquering, and controlling by nature. So he, a man, when he sees something good that he wants, his first instinct is to take it off the market, right? This is a very natural, instinctive thing that a man will do because he's a hunter. He wants to get beast get to it first before anybody else does, drag it home, own it, and move on. Um, that's usually what's happening here on a really subconscious level. Um, the guys who do it usually are really terrible at dating. <laughs> um, they're not um, great at dating and they probably need to get a coach or at least follow somebody who can help them out. Um, or you can call Coach Arena and Cheng as well, who will be more than happy to coach you as to how to date online. They're just acting out of impulse. Um, and then, of course, there's the player who is kind of moving things at a quantum speed because he's really hunting for sex. And he, the girl that gives him his number real quick, uh, she, he can escalate that, and by nighttime he could be in her bed. So if you're chatting, you know, early evening, he wants to escalate real quick, so that by the end of the evening he's in your bed, or at least he's secured um, a place in your bed for tomorrow. Um, so we are dealing with two extremities. We're dealing with a man who's seen something of great value um, and is ready to sell everything and move this thing forward, um, and then we're dealing with the player. Um, but the person 
And we're going to assume for now that we're talking about the guy who is of high value, who, um, you know, has seen a great thing and, and, and he really wants it. Um, I've always said to my girls, masculine men don't like wishy-washy play around. They, they're tired of girls that are playing games that just, you know, we get tired too. We are on the side getting fed up of guys who just want to chat and just keep somebody to have keep them busy, you don't really feel investment, they're just chatting, they're just flaky, they just whatever. You get tired of that too and so do guys on the other side because they're women doing exactly the same thing to them. So if a guy is really on the market to meet somebody and have something serious or sensible or profound, um, he doesn't really want to mess around. You have to understand also that masculine men have chosen with their eyes. You need the conversation because you choose with your ears. You need the back and forth because you're choosing with a whole different set of requirements. But most men, if your pictures look cute and you're showing them off at different angles um, and they've made an assessment of your beauty and they get a feeling that you're a nice girl, sometimes even by looking at pictures, it's kind of enough for them. They're not really looking for as much as we are, that connection, that intelligence, that this and that. I mean, a woman's list is so much bigger, so we, he needs to work a bit harder, but we don't always have to work hard, especially if we've done the presentation just right and we're showing up online as our true authentic selves and we're putting our best foot forward and being authentic. Um, he's already pretty much figured out that he wants to take this further. He's already flicked through thousands of ridiculous or, re you know, 10, hundred ridiculous pictures before he got to yours and he's like this is the girl this is the one I want so I want you to consider it as a bit of a compliment okay now there are two ways that you can play this number one is you can say to him I'd feel more comfortable if we just got to know each other a little bit better on the app and you know when I feel comfortable I promise you'll be the first one to get my number right you can do that if, especially if you feel like I just need a little bit more conversation Option number two, which is what I recommend to my girls, mainly because they're working with me, so I'm able to really vet and look through better, um, is get another phone, okay? Get another phone or get another chip for your phone, another number, what do they call them? CD card, whatever card. Uh, put it in your phone and have two numbers. That number that you give out must, and that number has to be dedicated to dating only, right? You gotta be administratively smart. Make it, uh, a number that's private, um, you know, as untraceable as possible, but make it a private number and give that number out to guys who want to escalate, okay? And see where they take it. If, you know, they go on WhatsApp and say, send me some pictures, you can just block, delete, and keep them moving. If they get on WhatsApp and really start having this really wonderful conversation with you, fantastic. If they um, want to escalate and have a call, call on the phone, brilliant. Why? Because you're going to get a better read of a guy over the phone than you're going to texting on an app, right? The apps are slower, they tend to be slower, um, less interactive. Um, and you know, I know some of the girls have been like, let's do a video chat via uh, the app. Um, and I get that too, but for some guys, it doesn't feel normal to them. They want to go on platforms that can move things along quicker than staying psychologically for them, staying here is like having this high value, wonderful woman in a room full of other men and I have to try and entertain her whilst the competition is around. So him moving you to a different platform is more of a psychological subconscious thing about really getting a bit more control in the dating aspect um, that really is about where the platform happens. So indulge if you like him, if you like him, I repeat, if you like him and he feels safe to you, be receptive because feminine energy is available and receptive. So be receptive to his leading. If you feel that he's leading way too fast and things are going at hundred miles an hour, then of course I encourage you to say it, use your words. I feel really uncomfortable at the pace that you're moving right now as much as I enjoy your company, would it be okay if we just slowed things down? Okay, it is per perfectly fine for you to say you're not comfortable with something. In fact, I encourage you to say it as often as you need to because a woman that uses her no is a woman of high value. A woman of high value will always be comfortable to say no, 
no further, this far. This is how a man knows that you value yourself, that you value your energy and that you value your time and how people treat you, this is how you teach them. So I encourage women to use the word no or uncomfortable or put those standards and those boundaries up as quickly and as many times as you feel you need to. But my suggestion to you is move it forward. Don't get emotionally attached to a guy on an app. Some people have had great conversations on the app, texting back and forth. I know it makes you feel safe because you feel like you're in a room full of a lot of other people. So it's happening for you subconsciously as well because you want to feel like I'm safe because the room is full of people, but really it's just a one-to-one -one interaction that's going on in that moment with that person. And you can move it to a different platform. So it's really about the dynamic of what's really going on. He wants to take you away from the room so you're not preoccupied with other guys because he's afraid that while he's talking to you, somebody else's profile is saying you have matched. And all of those things are his fears. So he wants to bring you to a place where he has your undivided attention. But on the other hand, you are trying to stay in the room so you don't feel like you've been taken out of the room. So it's about understanding exactly what is going on and really just playing along because at the end of the day, remember, it's all happening virtually. You don't actually, you're not leaving any room, you're just switching platforms and he's not really taking you out of any room because your notifications are still gonna come down and say, Johnny is speaking to me. But we can indulge each other because we are all psychologically trying to adapt to a different way of meeting and connecting. And so, my advice to you is wherever you feel comfortable, safe, wherever possible, and you have that second phone number that is not your private everyday phone number, and you've kind of had this interaction, see how that goes. It's, you know, I know a lot of girls get a bit, oh, I don't want to give it to him. And that, if you are dealing with a high value masculine man, he's going to read that as a lack of interest and game playing. And you don't ever want to give men the impression that you're just out here trying to play games because if there's anybody who knows how to play games, it's a man, okay? A woman can never outgame a guy because they're built for games, they're built for play. Um, it's, it, it turns them on, it gets them excited. For us, it creates a level of uncertainty that makes us anxious and more neurotic. So we don't really want to encourage any kind of game playing. If you're really not interested in him, really doesn't excite you, end the conversation and move on. But if you kind of think, mm, he's nice, I like him, and mm, haven't had much of an exchange, but I quite like him, let's move it on. Let's allow the thing to escalate to the next level. You're not giving him your home address. You're not giving him any information about yourself at this point, other than a digital number somewhere in the ether where he can have a conversation with you. And you're always going to get a better read of a man when you actually have a conversation verbally and you can hear the tone in his voice and how he's coming across. I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions or you'd like to work with me one to one to join the mentoring club, feel free, of course, to contact me at changeswild.co.uk forward slash shop, book a call to talk with me, or just go right ahead and join the mentoring club which is a Facebook group for high value women coming together and hanging out with each other. If this sounds fantastic for you, you are more than welcome. I look forward to seeing you again on my next video. In the meantime, take care of you.